Hey everyone, it's Kos, and today we're gonna compare the three cities that I've ever lived Limassol, a city in Cyprus, Athens, the capital of Greece, where I currently live, and London. Are you ready? Let's go! Generally, London is the most expensive of all the three of them, but if you compare how much you earn if you work in London, it's actually much better than Athens, who is the cheapest city to live out of all the three of them. Limassol has great living conditions. You can easily find a flat to rent or a house to rent in a reasonable price. You earn enough to live comfortably. Um, I would place Limassol first in this category for living conditions. Then comes London and at the very bottom is Athens. London is the very best. You can have buses and tube and everything everywhere all the time. So now they have the night tube for Friday and Saturday. So that helps the people who live in London to, to travel to the center, do stuff, dance, go to clubs, go to theaters, go to everywhere they want to go and then go back home. Athens comes second in this category because we have tube here as well. There are loads of buses, trolleys, trams. So it's easier to move around but nothing compared to London. On Friday and Saturday, tube is closing at 2 a.m., which is convenient for some, but not for everyone. Limassol is the worst because you just have some buses that no one uses because everyone uses cars and that's why the streets are always very busy. So it's very difficult if you're a tourist or if you're someone who doesn't have a car in, Cy in Limassol and Cyprus to move around in the city. London is again the very first because you can do whatever you want, whenever you want, really. There are loads of clubs, there are loads of theaters to go, cinemas, there are many sports centers that you can go and practice whatever sport you like. There are many parks that you can go have a walk or run or... Then I would say we could have Athens because it's a big city, much bigger than Limassol. And there are lots of things to do here as well. There are millions of theatres to go to. I'm sorry that I'm talking about theatres, but it's what I am doing, so that's why I want to talk about that. But there are, there are also lots of opportunities for many things and there are many hobbies or, that you can do for free. Also, Athens nightlife is one of the best I know. Athens is actually the city that never sleeps. It's not London, it's not New York, it's Athens. Athens never ever sleeps. And let's move on to Limassol, who, a city that's again at the bottom of this category because there are not many things to do but they do have a nice lifestyle, especially for tourists. Yeah, yeah. London is the land of opportunities. There are loads of jobs and many different fields, but it's very hard to find the job that you want because there's a lot of competition. So even if it's the land of opportunities, Based on the competition, you need to try hard to find the job you want to do and actually do it and sustain a life in London, which is, as I said before, the most expensive city to live out of all these three. Athens is, on, in ex is exactly the opposite. It's not the land of opportunities. People 
have a major problem with working, especially in what they want to do. People are not getting paid well, and that's why the crisis hit hard. It's like for actors per se, they get paid for just the shows and nothing more. So if you do rehearsals for, for like three months, you don't get paid in most theaters here. Limassol, on the other hand, is a good city to go and work, even if you don't have a variety of job roles to go and experiment with, there are much more opportunities than Athens. So in this category we have London first, Limassol second and Athens in the, in the very bottom. London has the worst weather of them all. It's cloudy, it's grey weather, people don't like it, I didn't like it, it's the only thing that I didn't like about London, but what to do. Um, Athens has great weather, it's sunny, in, it's sunny in the summertime, it's rainy and cloudy in the winter times, it's generally a, a balanced weather. And the Limassol, on the other hand, has sun for like 350 days a year. We do have winter in Cyprus as well, but it's mild. <music> Athens, because of the crisis, is on the top of our list. Then it's London and then it's um, Limassol. And by that I can say that Limassol is the safest city to live out of all these three. For LGBT people, again London is the best. People there can live freely. LGBT community is accepted. There are loads of clubs or meetings or stuff to do or place to watch for LGBT people. LGBT people generally in London can work freely, they can live freely as equals. In Athens there's a lot of homophobia and in Limassol as well, but because Athens is a bigger city, I would say that it's a better condition than Limassol. Even if people cannot hold hands or kiss in public in Athens. And not in Limassol, of course. So, to conclude, which city do I prefer? Hmm, I'm not sure. I have fun in all these three cities, but I have an eternal love for London. And I can't hide it, I love London. And maybe at some point in the future I will return after two years when I finish the drama school here. But because in London I can live freely, I've got many opportunities and it's a city that I will never get bored of. So that's all for today. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you think about your city? If you live in one of these three cities do you agree? Do you disagree with me? Or which city would you choose to live out of these three? If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe down below, new video every Sunday, but for now, bye bye!